what's up guys this is sam today we are going to learn how to create a parallax effect for your website using css actually parallax scrolling is one of the hottest trends in web design it's something you probably don't even realize you have already experienced the amazing thing about parallax scrolling is it will be triggered by a user simply scrolling through a website uh, parallax scrolling is a special scrolling technique used in the web design where uh, background images moves slower than the foreground images okay let's see how it looks like okay this is what we are going to make now i already downloaded three images and stored it here these are all the images we are going to use in this video lesson okay without any further ado let's create a new html file and store it here html snippet title actually i want to use the google fonts for this particular video lesson you can skip this step if you want if you don't want to use any specific fonts so let me copy this and paste it here let's add a basic style to the web page star star means uh, apply the below styles to all the elements so margin zero padding zero i hope you know why we are setting margin and padding as zero it's because browsers are uh, browsers using different styles as default i always recommend to use reset.css go and uh, look at those things if you are not sure about it and let's set the family font family let me copy this simply paste it here now we should design our layout let me create a new div here which is going to act as a container and one more div for the text and let's add a h1 we'll call it and let's add a span so a tagline you dream it we build it let's copy this and paste it here paste it here okay let's change the text alone don't think i'm sorry don't think just do it okay then this one dream big okay you can have any text you want and get that first and to differentiate these containers let me add one more special class to these containers one just to differentiate two and three Okay, now we are done with the layout let's check how it looks like okay that's very important okay this is a file uh oh i don't like it actually okay let's add some styles and check this later okay no worries container as usual we need to set the height and width so height has 100 bh and width as 100 percentage okay now you got a question right when i said height i used vh right but for width i'm just using percentage it's because if i mention height as 100 percentage height property will inherit its uh, parent for example here body is the parent so body doesn't have any height property so you understood the problem right if you don't try percentage and see when we use 100 vh when you use vh it takes the viewport's height so if i specify it as 50 it will uh, take 50 percentage of the viewport height now we are taking the 100 percentage height of the viewport viewport is nothing but the browser size okay browser window size let's add the images 
for the containers so in order to add an image we need to use background image url the image name is 1.jpg let me copy this paste it here paste it here and rename this to 2 and this is 3 let's change this 2 and 3 let's give it a shot okay still it looks ugly ah let's continue our patchwork since we are using different size of images all the images are looking different even if we edit and modify the width and height of the images it will look ugly in different screen resolutions so we need to find a solution for it i have a solution let's go back to the code and let's set background size as cover i'm sorry let's give it a shot okay that problem is fixed right now this is fine let's fix the text related problems so in order to do that we need to add those classes text what is that text container okay let's add the class for that and color white text align center and i want to align the text to the vertical uh, center of the container there are several ways to do it let me use one of them so in order to do that we need to set the display as table here and display as table cell here and don't forget most important thing is we need to set vertical align middle that's all let's add the styles for h1 and span tag i want to show the text in uppercase so text transform uppercase then font size font size as 80 pixel let's add a text shadow and color as black and x as one pixel y as zero and blur radius as 10 pixel now for the span tag let me copy this and paste it here and let me replace this with span i don't want uppercase there and 20 pixel that's all okay let's give it a shot okay looks good uh, yeah good okay now you started asking where is the parallax effect hey wait i'm sorry mistakes can happen okay let's fix it quickly where is the container okay background attachment fixed that's it when you set this your background image will not scroll with the page let's try it for the last time okay finally we got the parallax effect hey thanks for watching this video if you want to get more videos like this hit a like and subscribe button and don't forget to share this uh, share this video with others i will leave the demo link and source code link in the below description thanks once again bye bye